also very fluent in English as I should do, I should be, but I'll try to overcome the, this obstacle. I'll try also to answer to things already said. First, you started with saying that long-term investment is high on the agenda. I can tell you that after at least three years to try to achieve it, this, this goal, it is not yet uh, obtained. Although the European Parliament has done many steps in this direction, I'm not so very sure that Commission and, and nation states are ready to, com to, to answer to the question we are trying to pose now. Second, you spoke about the definition and what is long-term investment. From the real economy side, I would insist on the problem of intangible assets, be it immaterial like skills, but also natural capital. We want to have a perspective of durable growth, and so we have to invest very long term as regards infrastructures, uh, systems of energy, and so on. And often, this type of investment means delayed profitability and huge high costs, especially in all the preparation period. And this is, of course, a key challenge for building growth today, as Sharon Bowles has, has stressed. And to my experience, the gap between finance and so many enterprises and public bodies is tremendous. <coughs> there is a real gap, not between corporate and, uh, and, and financial investors, although there is, is the problem of alignment of, of interest, as has been stressed by John Kay. But for SMEs and, and plenty of bodies that have to invest long term, this gap is tremendous. So my contribution to the debate could focus on three points. The first is accounted accounting standards. Do, we should not, uh, sorry. Economic value and financial value is not the same thing, really. And to my experience, I, I was once uh, in charge of the French national accounts. And I can tell you we are trying to measure uh, in, a, in a fair but also efficient way our productive capital. And I can give, give more insight on this in, in the debate. I also know of enterprises like Thomson that were faced to valuation by the market saying that the firm was one we, you were worth. But a few times later, it was two or three millions of, you, of yours, the, the, the announced worth. So the connection, the connection between public policies, especially growth building policies, and financial accounting has not been made. And we all depends on IF, uh, I, 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 R, S, S uh, standards. And it's a huge problem. <laughs> Europe must regain control. This will be my, my first plea as a contribution. But as I, I have to be short, I won't, I won't develop this. Let us not confuse market value, full fair, full fair market value, and the economic value. The main problem is how can we uh, answer the question of an economic valuation of skills, of natural capital, of infrastructures, and this we are not, the answers for the IFS value uh, accounting is a wrong answer. Is, 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 as regards incentives, it's against long-term investment. So we we'll, we'll try to see how to regain control. And the second question is, regulation, and, but also structures. I agree with John Key. The, the problems of incentives are, are not only rules, but mainly uh, the, a problem of market structures. And we have to look at the banks. Which nobody has much spoken about banks. Let me remember that two-thirds of the project financing initiatives uh, came from banks. Two thirds of, of the total of financing was for banks before the crisis, 
And now there is a drop in that type of finance. Of course, it's not a problem for corporate firms, but it's a huge problem for, for SMEs. And, and as regards long-term credit, the banks do not want now to, to go in this direction. So this is a real problem. And, and do asset managers come to the rescue and give alternative answers? The answers to my question was given by John Kay. I'm not add much in our debate about that. Asset managers are not giving the, the right answers. One of the reasons being the regulation of the markets, but it is not the only one. There is a structural problem there. But why not, and this is, has not been stressed sufficiently, why not give, uh, uh, promote the role of institutional long-term investors? We have been speaking about pension funds, insurers, we should speak about foundations, public banks, and so on. They can have a major role because they have long-term liabilities and they can match the problem of taking risks on long-term assets thanks to that uh, specificity of theirs, which is very different from the banks. But they are regulated as, as if they were banks. So they, they face a problem of adequate rules. But in my opinion, their, their behavior is not very clear. But do they want an autonomous strategy towards real long-term investment? This is not very clear either. But this, this can be raised afterwards. And to, and to finish, not to be too long, third, the third idea is public involvement. Uh, I come back again to the fact that it's not sufficiently on the top of the agenda. There are many ways to circumvent the problems. For instance, asking to the IEB to do the job. Uh, IEB says, I cannot select projects, and, and you ask me too much. Take the project bonds and have a new financial uh, uh, type of helping this type of investment. We are still on an experiment, and they don't tackle the problem of the quality of the markets and the structural behaviors of the industry. So at the, at the moment, Commission answers the problem by sideways. And we are not in, in, in facing the, 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 the more profound targets. And what are these targets? Of course, adequate saving policies. It's not only a problem of asking people to, uh, to invest in equities. It's the type of the problems of pensions, pensions, fiscality. But also, the second point would be the building of European investment funds. We depend on the American equ private equity and so on. And, and of course, I, I would like to stress that the IEB and other banks like the, the German KFW or the French uh, uh, Caisse des Dépôts et Consignations, they try to build new European uh, investment funds open to uh, people abroad, of course, to try to, to give new answers to the problem we are, speak, we are speaking about. But of course, and this is my last word, do we really, uh, can, can we really achieve these goals regarding the financial structures altogether without having a better view, a, a real strategy as regards the investments in the real economy, like skills, like natural capital, like infrastructure that we need, uh, and the productive economy altogether. Thank you. <laughs>